Tasmanian Premier Jeremy Rockcliffe has gone head-to-head -head with the opposition leader Rebecca White in an official forum debate organised by the Property Council of Australia ahead of the state election on March 23. Lauren Evans with this report. Premier Jeremy Rockcliffe and Labor leader Rebecca White barely settling in when a group of protesters invaded the stage determined to continue defending the environment. Forest die, we die, we cannot be silent. While both leaders outlined their vision for the state in a fiery debate, the controversial AFL Stadium project remained front and centre. Rebecca White says if a Labor government is elected, she will seek to renegotiate the stadium deal with the AFL in an attempt to relieve the pressure on Tasmanian taxpayers. The stadium has divided people and that could have been avoided. And I think that's been one of the... Uh, probably saddest things I've seen in terms of our ability to get this team off the ground for a very long time. It has divided people. I've been really clear. We don't think that a taxpayer funded stadium is the right priority for Tasmania. And that's for a number of reasons. And I spoke to you at the start about what I thought this election's about. Cost of living. Premier Rockcliffe, however, remains determined to see the current deal through to the end, saying without a stadium, there is no team. $375 million, capped at that much, not a red cent more, out to the good people of the private sector uh, to uh, do the rest, if you like. And there is interest. I can tell you, like there's been interest in Perth and Adelaide and elsewhere. 4,000 jobs in construction. We can do this. It's a great economic enabler. It's an opportunity. The negotiation uh, cannot be undone, the agreement. And the AFL themselves will invest $360 million into Tasmania. And so I don't want to see young boys and girls' aspiration uh, being killed off uh, through politics. Cost of living, education and greater access to GPs were among the major talking points. Rebecca White is pledging to provide free lunches to all primary school students by 2030, while the Premier has promised to take $250 of household power bills. It's been an opportunity for us to outline uh, our vision for Tasmania, which is about doing two key things, taking urgent action on the cost of living, and I've outlined for you some of our initiatives, and also setting Tasmania up for a better future. My clear message today, that if you want stability, and you want certainty, you've got to vote Liberal. We don't want another minority government and a coalition of chaos. We're not continue uh, that momentum. Uh, don't risk, of course, on March uh, the 24th, uh, that the Greens and the Lambie party are going to call the shots on your future. Uh, that's why I'm committed to restoring certainty and stability to the Tasmanian Parliament. The latest polling by the Australian Institute shows the Liberals are on track to retain government following this election on March 23, but will fall short of securing a majority.